The Theater of Harlem was the first dance institute to introduce ballet to people of all color. In 1969, when Arthur Mitchell and Carl Schuch uh, founded Dance Theater of Harlem, following the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King, it was really founded on a three-tiered principle. To be artistically excellent, to be socially aware, and to be educationally active. The theater has remained in Harlem because this was the city they began in. They have deep roots here and an allegiance to make their home more respected. I'd love to think that Dance Theater of Harlem is a positive beacon in an area that sometimes has gotten a bum rap and, and maybe isn't known for um, being a hub of such a cultural institution. Um, we've been here for so many years and many of our students come right out of the neighborhood so it's a chance for them to experience the arts right here. Dancing Through Barriers is an education and outreach program found at the Dance Theater of Harlem. The theater's dance ensemble visits schools and other organizations to help teach others about dance. Our dancers' um, daily schedule starts every day with a 90-minute ballet class. And for us, taking that ballet class is uh, its a necessary and vital part of our day. We practice those same basic ABCs over and over again in order to uh, maintain and improve our technique, in order to um, um, continue to do what we do at a very high level. When you come to the theater and you see what you see on the stage looks beautiful and effortless, um, that's our goal, but that goal has been realized by many, many hours, days, weeks, and even months of uh, preparation and rehearsal. Robert Garland, longtime dancer, is the resident choreographer and artistic administrator of the Dance Theater of Harlem. Garland completed a dance degree at the Juilliard School and later joined the Dance Theater as an apprentice. Mr. Garland is wonderful. He's really wonderful because he has this innate kind of uncanny ability to know people and the way that he works with you reflect who you are and who he sees, you know, what he sees in you. Even if you feel like you can't do something, he knows that you can and he'll work with you to help you do it and, you know, to bring, to bring whatever it is out of you and I feel like that it's good for me. I feel like there are some things that I can't do, but by the end of rehearsal, I know that I can do it. Endelin Taylor is the director of the Dance Theater of Harlem School. One of her main jobs is to help choreograph the dances. If I'm working with three-year-olds, of course, I'm thinking of less complicated steps. I'm thinking of things that they can all do, and I'm also using analogies and things that they can relate to. So if I'm, I'm working with a three-year-old to teach them a dance, you're a flower, so you bloom, so you use a lot of imagery so that they understand. I look at music and dance as being a partnership, and one without the other really being strong does not work. So the music is really important. Being a dancer requires a lot of discipline, especially growing up. You know, you miss out on a lot of things being a kid because you got to go to class, you got to go to rehearsal if you're really determined. You know, as you get older and as you get into being more independent, being professional, um, it gets into a spiritual freedom also, and that can change your life as well. When I saw dance theater, I saw people of every rainbow. I saw people who looked like me. So obviously they were role models that encouraged me to keep going. Here um, at Dance Theater, if you look on our stage, you'll see people of many different nationalities coming from different parts of the world. It feels good to have people around you that, you know, are going to support you, like if you're having a bad day, if you're having a, a good day, and they're going to be there with you no matter what. I wouldn't say that it's changed my life, because it's been a part of my life my whole life. Um, but it has shaped who I am. If you have any passion whatsoever to dance, it's important to do it because even if you don't become a professional dancer, it has so many other benefits. It teaches you discipline and self-esteem and just the way you carry yourself. For an interview, if you walked into a room with the confidence that dance gives you, it gives you that advantage. So do it because you love it and don't just do it because you think it might be a career one day. You have to love it in 
every single way. You know, sometimes you get up in the morning and you, you hate what you do, and you, but you have to make yourself because that's part of loving it. And it takes a whole process to get to that, um, especially being a young person and, you know, having school and friends and all that and um, just being able to keep things in perspective and keep a sight on your goals at all times is, is very important. Um, and keep it in your heart because that's, that's where everything starts.